I assume that's as a team, we are going to put him in an end to it. Because you're going to stop whatever he's up to. Just give it up while you still can and come back into the fold. And we are back. So, if I played my cards right, just a second, we should have unlocked the next mission, uh, the uh, secret Bontacoon mission. So, moment. All right. Before we do that, um, did I do up? No, I did do attack points last time. Um, no, I had not done subword attack points and suborders. So we're gonna do. The, I did um, upgrades, but I didn't do anything else last time. Just a moment. All right. All right. So first thing first, let's get some additional kills. Just a second. And some additional levels up. We're gonna start off with. Let's see here. Let's go with the leveling characters up. Now you, well, some of you lot are going to be leaving soon. Um. Actually, it was so. leaving Vivian's leaving Bellwarmer's leaving on Beecha you know L staying Lottie staying let's go with, let's go with them um, cause a lot of, cause if we're staying in this universe, we're going to be having a bunch of the other super robot characters heading off to other universes. So, um, I think back to their universe, I'll probably the ones from like, um, uh, Mike Gain and not as cool, heading back to their universe in a minute, in a, soon. I want to focus on the people who will be sticking around for the next couple of missions. Um, troll. All right, Kincaid. Level up Sasuke. We're not deploying this next mission, but let's level up anyway. Uh, Belt. Kurtz. Mao and no no oh, let's get some of the uh... oh, let's get boss alright and then so the rest, anyone really works here. Our hard attack points. Both guys almost at ace, actually. Run there, levels up. And a bunch of extra cash. So actually, let's spend some of that cash real quick. Um, I know I spent a whole bunch of time doing upgrades at the end of last episode, but, of last stream, but let's, we can 
do a little bit more real quick. <laughs> so, let me think. Alright, moment. Let's. Who do I have to do this upgrade on? Let's. Judo's in pretty good shape. Zeta's alright. The Akashiki's okay. The Mark II. The Puebles. Puebles need some work. Um, I didn't work on the, the new Gundam to get Amuro. Can't go all the way, but I can upgrade his mobility a bunch more so he is less likely to get splatted. Second. Cat's being a nuisance. Okay. And anything else? Um. Oh, uh, what? Don't undo that. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I had it finalized. Also, I'm kind of posting my announcements to a few quick places. got that. There we go. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay. Let's we'll have two DLC missions, but right now let me bring the side stuff before we proceed with the story. So I believe this... Yes! Haha! -ha! Secret scenario! I was right. do 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 No, no, that's um... Thinking of a different song. Uh, thinking of a rough song. Um, no, it is. Um, anyway, never mind. Go for a rush reference. There are a few things I would like to speak about. I see. All right. First of which is Dragon's Presence. Rather, the Dragon's Presence. Several days ago, we had a second encounter with dragons during our battle at Mars in the AD dimension. We thought that they'd warped over when we did. But considering taking the numbers into consideration, we've rejected that hypothesis. Are you saying they managed to get here by themselves? Dragons travel using a dimensional portal called a Singular. However, we failed to detect one in the vicinity during our encounter with them in the UC dimension. Which means they must have traveled through space. Is it an invasion from Pern? We're not 100% sure. There's a strong possibility that the dragons the dragons have a presence in this world. Can't be serious. Don't you, th do you think I wouldn't know if they did? Calm, Captain Otto. Let Lieutenant Sonata continue. There's one more piece of evidence that led us to this conclusion. In, in the case of Tuatha de Danon and Judo's team, they were met by dragons after going from the Universal Century to the AD dimension. We'd hazard to guess they were drawn into a local space-time rift created when, the, when dragons opened a portal. I mean to say that these creatures have the ability to bend space-time, and they're using it to invade the AD dimension from their world? I do believe that to be the case. But in doing so, it may have given us a chance to open a path back there. And the key, and the, and the key is the potion jump. The fact that we were thrown into the UC dimension from AD dimension Mars means it was most likely due to one Yurika Misumaru, who was there at the time. She is Akito Tenkoa's wife. Well, she was a Class A jumper. I heard they have some manner of control over the bosun jump. The case may be that Yurika did not do this with any sort of active intent. Rather, the jump was triggered by a desperate need to save her husband from the crisis at hand. Power to traverse parallel worlds. I do believe the Martian successors have done some research on the phenomenon. 
And I think it's possible that gaining control of the jump would allow us to move between these worlds. And you can do just you can just do that. Ideally, I would study the calculation unit used to control the jump. However, it is impossible at this juncture. Haruke Kusakabe did say that the Mars ruins didn't have one either. We can't confirm the veracity of that statement at the moment. We are confident that matching a rift waveform to that of the dimension of the Dragon Singular would allow us to travel to the AD dimension. While we wouldn't have a precise control, it would allow us to create a bridge. The theory itself is solid. Our main issue is not having the means to create a rift in the first place. We will have to bag a dragon and get it to show us. No need for that. We already have something we can use to create the waveform. The Vilicus, is it? Indeed, sir. The jump shown by the Vilicus in yesterday's battle has the characteristics of a singular. Based on Nine's analysis, if we were to perform a boson jump using a singular waveform through a space-time rift created by the Vilicus, we could, you, you know, we might be able to travel between the worlds. One could even call it a parallel boson jump. And Nine will also take care of the waveform calculations. This could be it, a way back to the AD dimension. Just hold on a minute. We're talking about Nine, right? The Vang Ray OS? You're telling me a mech AI could do interdimensional calculations? I do understand your status, but it was Nine herself who brought the general plan to us. She took it upon herself to log and analyze every Yota of movement data since we were thrown here. Perhaps whoever designed developed the Vang Ray had done the research on traveling through parallel worlds. All right. That was with a deeper voice there, because it's that would be in one part that would be one party of the Yamato's construction. Researchers have applied warp techniques, perhaps. We're going to try to research the Vilicus's jump, apply nine theories, and open the door to the AD dimension. It may be a dangerous gamble, but we're going to move forward with preparations. Or, dangerous gamble, but we're going to move forward with preparations. Fine. If you need any materials, I'll get them for you. This is our chance to go back to our planet. Good luck. Thank you. And this whole thing will hinge on Edge's ability to make full use of the power of the Vilicus. Wait, Otto, this is your planet. Uh, I think there was a... Or I think I said you meant your planet. Anyway. Ursha, when's chow time? Angie, here you go. Here's a special dish to give you stamina. Thanks. It looks great. Angie, you're looking really pretty exhausted. I can understand why. You've been in Vilicus day and night so they can gather jump data. It's training to make full use of that mode. There's no way around it. Setsuna, you shouldn't be so cold about this. You're one of the coaches, after all. Setsuna is? And she's also asking for Angie's jump with the quantum jump. Angie's help with the quantum jump, saying it might be useful for something or other. The things Setsuna says are really hard to understand. Can't you figure out how to explain things better? So sorry. Uh, you're really no good about talk uh, talking about stuff. I wish you'd put yourself in the other person's shoes and you decide how to present things. Uh, I'll try. This is a rare scene right here. Innovator, they're really getting up on you. The choice of coaches has always been strange. Ryoma's advice is always never say die type stuff, and Amaro's power of concentration stuff. It's really abstract and hard to understand. Anyway, we've learned that the activation of that mode of the Vilicus is tied to Angie's emotional state. In that case, I've got the ideal coach for her. He's sure to bring out her spiritual side. That's your cue, Sasuke. Um, yeah, no problem. I mastered the use of the Lambda Driver, and I'll knock some combat techniques into you, too. Well, here we go again. I should start with you, Sasuke. Supposed to have the day off. You're going out with Kaname, right? Shouldn't you be getting ready? Oh, yeah. I'll have to give you the pan- And you have to give you the benefit of my coaching some other time. That's okay. Let's just forget the whole thing. Sasuke and Kaname are high school students right now, aren't they? Well, in Sasuke's case, he's more of a mercenary playing the role of a student, rather than the other way around. Even so, the fighting has been raging for months. I bet he's got a lot of pent-up stress by now. Just exactly what are you up to? Am I that obvious? Yes, yes you are, so let's hear it. Depending on what it is, I just might help out. I just might help out. Well, you might call it friendship fostering. Friendship, eh? Do you think that Lady Angelese is alright? Actually, no, I don't think so. Are you serious? And that's all the more reason why we should put my plan into action. But races are on our end are done, Vivian. Or races on our end are done, Vivian. We got the go-ahead from Chief Harada too. Thanks, everyone. All right, Momoka, for Angie's sake, let's do this. 
Okay, if it's going to help Lady Angeles, it's well worth the effort. So this is the high school that you and Sasuke go to. Yeah, today's a day off, though. Oh, a day off. Yeah. Amalgam came after me and ended up dragging Jindai High School into the fighting. The area has been designated combat zone, so everyone got transferred to various other schools. Kaname? Sorry, Nine. I didn't mean to worry you. That school uniform. It looks good on you. Oh, well, since we were going to school, I figured I'd do a little cosplay. Cosplay. An abbreviation of costume play. Rada is into that, you know. Rada, she's a nurse on the Yamato, right? I didn't know she was into that stuff. Oh, on the Yamato, she's got a, on the Yamato, she's got equipment that can make any piece of clothing just by inputting the pattern. So I guess that's how Sitsun and the others made their new clothes when they transferred in. Anyways, what are we all doing at J Jindai High? Well, to be honest, we were off duty, so we had some time on our hands. And that Sasuke said that something interesting was going to happen here, so we should all come. And where exactly is Sasuke? I'm getting a bad feeling about all this. Everyone, let's go look for him. The school building may be empty, but whatever thing that guy cooked up can only lead to trouble. Uh, right. So Sosuke and the gang went to school. Well, it's a short break, but that'll be a nice change of pace. Excuse me, have you seen Angie? No, not, no, not today. She's usually unstoppable, but, he, but even she was looking weary. She might have just skipped out on training. And specifically after saying, after specifically saying that she longed to go back to her planet. Just for that, we gotta track her down and give her twice as much work to do. Give me a break. This way I'll drop dead even before I get the chance to go back. I'd like to at least take today off to rest, and to do that I'll have to escape from this place somehow. What is this? In a choice but to use it. This is no time to worry about details like common sense and dignity. I'm going to survive, even if I need to destroy the world to do it. Uh-oh. Where the hell did that Sasuke run off to? How about we give up on this? Huh? Well, this is our day off, you know. That's true. You want to head back to Londo Bell? What? If there's time, one deck to examine the Mazinger. It might, this might be... Might just be... Ah, I, I can talk. It just might be hiding some capabilities that we don't know about yet. It's a super robot that only my grandpa could build. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. I know how he feels, but Koji's getting a bit, a little bit scary lately. I'm really obsessed with that Mazinger Z. He's not in here, either. No, he's not. His classrooms are just like the ones in junior high. That's true. You went to that junior high school, right? Yeah. Who are you friends with there? Nobody, really. Can't keep the conversation going. <laughs> A high school club room, eh? Boy, this really takes me back. Is it okay that we're not searching for Sasuke? Nah, let him be. Konami's just a little high-strung lately, that's all. There's not a person alive who would destroy his own school. If I expand the effective range of my sensors, I think I might be able to zero in on him. Don't worry about it, Nine. Let's just you and me talk for a change. You've been working non-stop for a long time now, but with the jump data analysis and all, let's relax and take it easy for a while. I am an AI. I don't get tired. Even so, even the best I can, AI can end up overheating, am I right? Yes, alright. I'll take a little rest. It'll help me carry out the parallel bosun jump plan more effectively. Nine, you don't have to work so hard all the time. Why is that? There are people hoping to get back to the AD dimension, after all. That's true, but still, I can't help but worry about your physical condition. I am an AI. I exist to serve, as human, to serve humans. If anything happened to you, I'd be inconsolable. Thank you. What a nice... Really? We're doing this again? What a nice smile you have. You really ought to smile more often. I don't know about that. Like, after this after... Nine shootout Ryoko of... Um, Nondisco for acting like a tomboy when that's like one of her big defining character traits. Sasuke's not in here. Sasuke's not in here either, eh? 
Nope. This is kind of strange. You don't usually tag along with us, Akito. Saburuta asked me to keep an eye on Rui. I know that when somehow when Saburuta just asked me to do something, I do something I just can't refuse. Well, he was a soldier in the Jovian Federation, so he's got a certain air of confidence about him. He also barely managed to escape the spell of Geki Gangar. I mean that in a good way. Akito, what is it? Or what is it? Now that we've discovered a way to go back to our world, I'd like to ask you again. Akito, do you want to go back? I'd like to know if she's alright, but still. That's good enough. I just needed to confirm that you have the desire to go back. We can figure out what comes after that later. Thanks. Sure. Okay, okay, everybody, I'm sorry. If it weren't for me, you, all of you would be going to Jindai High now. Why did I, of all people, end up a Whispered? On the other hand, it's because of a whisper that I ended up meeting Sasuke. Sasuke? Hmm. Yeah! Erg. What, what the heck are you? Wait a sec. Wait a sec, take off that voice. Foo ba foo! <clears throat> is, is that? Hey! Foo ba boo! Foo ba boo! Mofu! It's got weird clothes on, but it's definitely Botakun! Foo ba foo! Mofu! Foo boo! Ah! Foo ba mofu! Foo mofu! Bodakun just pulled out a gun! That, which means that's... Eek! Fubo! Eek! <clears throat> what, what's going on? The animal characters are fighting each other! This is the interesting thing Sasuke was talking about. It's an interesting sight, that's for sure. How oh, cute. Yeah. Are we looking at the same thing here? It's moving. But it's moving. The person inside. There isn't a person inside. Akito? Come on, just go with it. Let come on, just go with it. Let's not go trampling on nine streams. Yeah, you're right. But one false mood and then this becomes a tableau from hell. Fuma foo! Hey, cut that out! Cut that out, I said! You finally found us! Thief! Thief! Give, give Lickety right back this minute! Lickety, you mean that patchwork mouse? Wrong! Lickety is a bear! The character was popular in our world a while back. With the help from Harada and Mori, we made this to help Lady Angelise get over her fatigue and feel better. Lady Angelise loves Lickety. She even decorated the compound of Silicus with the key holder I gave her as a gift. Weird. Seem to be acting badly for some reason. That's because we're stolen from a warehouse in the Yamato and I came looking for it. Ah! What? Uh oh. Everybody won! AS is coming! Eek! Fubo! <laughs> what a lucky break. I come into town and throw the troops a little, and, yet, and I meet the angel of my dreams. That's me the gods rewarding the great gates for working day in and day out. If I love Hong Kong, I thought I'd die for sure, but it looks like Lady Luck is really lo looking out for me. Note, in Full Metal Panic the Second Raid, Gates died during the Battle of Hong Kong. Gates is a right son of a bitch, and deserved to die in the Battle of Hong Kong. Hopefully we will have a chance to kill him a second time. All right then, Konami Chidori, let me put my arm around you. What the hell is that? A mouse? A bear? Some kind of some weird mythical creature? Whatever it is, I'm gonna shoot it. Fubo! It dodged my shot. It dodged the Great Gate's killer shot. Insolent beast. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That was so cool. That was so cool! He made a fan out of me in one fell swoop! Apparently, that animal is called Bontakun. Yeah! Go, Bontakun! Go! Ugh! The incredible mouse bear! You take a whole different approach. Eek! They can go after that patchwork bear. Eek! 
Arg, lickety! Uh-oh, its legs are so short it can't run away. <laughs> now for the knockout blow. Fuck! What? Angie's Villicus! From the looks of things, Angie has mastered the jump. Way to go, Lady Angelese. If there's a thief inside it, you showed up just in time to rescue your beloved Lickety. Uh, sure. I'll go along with that. Villicus, you came to rescue me, eh? Uh, I gotta know what type of treachery is behind this. If you insist on defying the Great Gates... Hold up a second, before I face off against you... Fumo? This is payback for before! Angie, what are you doing? An accidental shot? Fumo Mavu! Alright, that'll do. Alright, Pondacoon, or whatever your name is, let's dispose of the rest of those guys. Fumo! Here we go. Let's give these guys who just interrupted my vacation a little reward for their efforts. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.